So I'm gonna wanna discuss today a little bit about my diet in Thailand and what it's been like. You know, you always hear how good the food is over here. Well, it's absolutely correct. And especially out here in the province, I'm eating actual Thai food. I'm not going to restaurants. I'm not going at least to, I shouldn't say I'm not going to restaurants. I'm going to Thai restaurants. I'm not going to westernized restaurants. So whenever I stop to eat out, I always eat at either a market vendor or a true Thai restaurant with real Thai food. Uh, while I'm staying out here in the province on the rice farm with Tia, I'm actually eating what everybody eats in a village out in the northeast section of Thailand. Uh, I'm eating Hassan food, basically, is what it is. And this must be some of the healthiest stuff you can get. Because whenever we have a chicken, the chicken comes off the farm. Our eggs come from these chickens. Our pork comes from the pig farm that's down the road. And these people don't have all of this MSG and all these chemicals and things they're injecting into these animals like they do in the United States. I'm telling you folks, this makes a heck of a difference because I'm 62, as I've mentioned in a previous video, and I'd been getting some arthritis in my hands and in my back. And in the month that I've been here, I've lost approximately 10 pounds. My belts went up several notches and uh, not went up, went down, I should say. And I have uh, felt better. The inflammation in my hands is pretty well gone. And I'm just eating a lot of things like chicken. I'm eating pork, uh, glass noodles, spicy snails, spicy papaya. I throw in a little bit of mango fruit now and then, but not a lot because I'm not a sugar guy. So I try to avoid as much sugar as I possibly can. Uh, I am walking, uh, which I do at home in the States. I'm getting up in the morning and walking about, eh, about five uh uh, kilometers three miles and then of an evening uh, sometimes I go out and I double up and I do a five kilometer run uh, did the same thing in the states wasn't having really good results with it uh, here I don't know maybe it's the stress level is lower because you know stress causes you to what is it cortisol that your body uh, produces that causes weight gain Maybe it's just because it's a little peaceful, you know, and things that are a little more chilled out here. I can't say for certain, but I can tell you it is working here. I still drink my whiskey that I have a weakness for of an evening. No problems with that. I do avoid beer because I'm a low carb type guy. I don't eat a lot of rice, a little bit of sticky rice. Uh, it's really good, but that could be a real game changer for me as far as weight gain because I could sit down and eat a whole pot of that, but one or two little handfuls now and then. But this place has made monumental changes in my feeling of health and wellness just in four weeks. But that's my experience. I would be really, really curious if you guys have had similar experience or different experiences, depending on where you're at in Thailand, what type of food you've been eating, and I'd like to know if this is just some coincidence because it's been more relaxed or if it's truly the difference in getting away from all that westernized food and things that have antibiotics, chemicals, salt. You know, in the United States, they just pickle everything. They put so much sodium in it. Your blood pressure soars. And I know mine is down here because my... Uh, wristwatch monitors at my fitness tracker so it's it's amazing to me so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe to it hit the notifications bell and give me your comments i really want to know if you've had similar results and if you haven't what bad results you've had i'd just like to know in general what you've had in your location in thailand talk to you guys soon rick signing off